Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is another what I eat in a week as a vegan, but this time it's summer edition. These are all new recipes that I've been making during summer so far, and they're filled with a lot of fresh ingredients, a lot of fruits, a lot of veggies, so I'm super excited to share that with you today. But before we jump into today's video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below because that really helps my channel out a lot. And if you're new here, consider subscribing because I post new videos every single week. But I had a lot of fun filming this video and trying out these new recipes, so I hope that you guys like it. If there's anything that catches your eye and you want the recipe before comment it down below and I will send you the recipe but without further ado here's everything that I eat in a week during summer I decided to meal prep some overnight oats because Monday mornings can be a little hectic for me I added some chia and flax seeds peanut butter agave and oat milk to a jar and enjoyed it the next morning with an iced oat milk latte to give me the energy I need to push me through the long workday ahead A little later, I snuck on some dragon puffs, which is the closest thing vegans have to hot Cheetos. It's not the same taste at all, but it has a really nice smoky flavor and a spice that sneaks up on you, which I appreciate. For lunch, I was craving some comfort food, so I peeled and diced some potatoes to make a side of mashed potatoes. And for my veggies, I ended up using asparagus, bell pepper, onion, and mushrooms. And I just sauteed that all together with some spices, soy sauce, and cornstarch to create this beautiful brown sauce. It's so delicious. It reminds me of something you'd eat like at a Thanksgiving dinner. I also drink it with a poppy, which is one of my favorite drinks at the moment because it helps support a healthy gut. After the gym that day, I decided to grab a quick naked smoothie. These are my favorite for whenever I'm on the go. And for dinner that night, I decided to make a tofu egg roll bowl, which consists of onion, soy sauce, cabbage, spinach, tofu, and broccoli. This is a super quick 20 minute meal and it's high in protein and low in calories. So it's perfect for those nights where I want a homemade meal but I'm feeling a little lazy. I top it with some crispy tofu and a soy sauce sriracha mixture and it's ready to enjoy. Then I was craving something sweet so I decided to have a kind ice cream bar to end the night. I made a breakfast sandwich by spreading some avocado on toasted bread. I added everything but the bagel seasoning, scrambled just egg, and a generous amount of spinach. If you've watched my other What I Eat in a Week videos, you know that I love a good smoothie. So this is my current favorite summer smoothie. It has pineapple, strawberries, peaches, mango, orange juice, and some apple cider vinegar. Some would say this is the breakfast of champions, and I would have to agree. I roasted some garlic, herbs, and cherry tomatoes in the oven and added them to a blender along with cashews to create the most beautiful cheesy pasta sauce. This linguine pasta with broccoli is heaven sent. Later on, I snacked on some homemade salsa and tortilla chips along with the strawberry lemonade poppy because I was having a little bit of stomach issues. You know, just hot girl things, dealing with my stomach issues, but <laughs> this drink definitely helped settle my stomach a bit. This morning I was feeling really lazy so my boyfriend made me a PB&J and I had some oat milk with that. And later for lunch I wanted to try to make spring rolls for the first time using rice paper. I filled them with cabbage, bell pepper, tofu, green onion, and avocado and they were surprisingly very easy to make. The great thing is you have so much freedom to customize your toppings to your liking so I'm so excited to try making these again with different fillings. Later on, the vibes were very laid back, so I had a chavela with this Bloody Mary mix and some more chips and salsa. For dinner, we picked up some Beyond Burgers from Carl's Jr. and watched Bob's Burgers to end the night. I haven't had cereal in the longest time and I recently started to reincorporate it into my days for the mornings where I just want to keep things simple and easy. For lunch, I mashed up some chickpeas with a fork, added some corn, vegan mayo, chopped celery, garlic powder, nutritional yeast, salt, and black pepper to create this chickpea tuna salad. 
I toasted some bread and ended up making myself two sandwiches. I definitely recommend this recipe because the ingredients are so cheap, filled with protein, and it's so easy to meal prep. We had some fun in the sun later this day with my boyfriend's nephews, so I decided to make the adults a spike smoothie. This is the same smoothie as before, but I just added some tequila to it. And after our pool day, I made some vegan hot dogs for the first time, and they were so good. I made two different versions, one with chili beans, which was really good and high in protein, and the other version, which was more of like a classic street style hot dog with ketchup, mustard, diced tomatoes, and caramelized onion. Mmm. So good, perfect for your next barbecue or family outing. I had been wanting to experiment with this recipe I saw online for vegan bacon made out of rice paper. So I cut up some strips of rice paper and coated each side with a marinade made from liquid smoke, nutritional yeast, paprika, and a bunch of other things I can't even remember. And I threw it in the oven for like 7 minutes. Spoiler alert, it didn't really taste like bacon and if I'm being honest I will probably never make this again because it was a lot of work for essentially nothing. But the crunch that each crisp had is out of this world, just listen. For lunch, I made this phenomenal burrito bowl topped with the creamy avocado lime sauce. It has rice, black beans, chopped cherry tomatoes, avocado, spicy tofu, and it's just incredible. There's no lack of flavor in sight. It's like having a burrito bowl from Chipotle, but half the price and way better for you. And for dinner, I kept it simple and made a spicy garlic ramen noodle stir fry topped with broccoli, green onion, and sesame seeds. It was delicious. Bottoms up. I had seen this recipe for Ariana Grande's favorite salad floating around on TikTok for a while and I had been meaning to test it out. It's basically a mix between sweet and savory flavors which definitely made me curious to see if it was actually good or not and I was very, very surprised at how much I liked this. Dare I say this might be the perfect summer salad? The date is really good. And the strawberry. Okay, Ari. Mmm. I like it. I've recently discovered that sourdough bread is superior and the only bread I ever want to consume, so I decided to get fancy with my avocado and slice it so I could layer it on the bread like you see in the fancy restaurants, but it didn't work out the way I wanted it to, so I just ended up mashing it. <laughs> I added some lemon, parsley, basil, and everything but the bagel seasoning, and it was a work of art. Chef's kiss. If you follow me on Instagram, which you totally should, I've posted this salad so many times, but I think that that just further proves how much I love this Caesar salad. I add some chopped Morningstar nuggets, cherry tomatoes, and avocado, and I could literally eat this for every meal. I recently bought this popsicle mold because it's getting super hot out. This is just a mixture of mango puree, apple, and lemon juice, and it's the perfect treat for a hot summer day. And to end the day, I made some chorizo and potato flautas topped with sour cream and salsa and served it with refried beans. 